Hey everybody, we're gonna pick up where we left off in the last video, or you can just follow along for this video, but this is what we're gonna create. So look at this app right here. There's a field where you can type out your name, so I'll type out Daniel, and I can hit this button and it says, Welcome Daniel, how are you doing today? So this is a very basic app, but it can teach some important concepts. So let's get started. Um, this is the emulator, so you can just open up Android Studio and follow along with me. So I'm gonna click Start a New Project. I'm gonna type in, I'll type in um, a welcome. Let's do. Uh, you can just put in test.com if you don't have a domain. I can use danielmalone.com. Uh, I will change this. I will. Don't want to save it there actually. This should be fine usually. So you, what you can do is you can browse for a place here and just decide where you want to save it. But what's really important here is to check is to check this checkbox that says uh, Kotlin includes the Kotlin support because we're going to be doing Kotlin in this video. That's what we're going to do, not Java Kotlin. So hit next. Um, this screen is all fine. Next, uh, we'll do basic activity. Next and we can click finish. And this should open it up in Android Studio and just give it a couple of seconds and it'll uh, build, Gradle will build everything and it'll index it and everything will be fine. So just wait a couple of seconds. And I think that's good. I just double click the top, it'll like make it full screen for you, just a little tip there. Or you can right click on it and go to your finder. It's in the other little tip. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and if you see, if you followed along with the other videos, you know kind of where we are. And I kind of talked over like where all the files are and stuff. So you can go into here and there's your main activity.kotlin. That's what it looks like. And there are tabs up here at the top. You can switch between them. So if you want main activity or content main, um, again, you, you should usually have it in Android mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and close everything. Uh, you have, so app, um, Java, and then the first folder, and then that's where your Kotlin file is. Then inside of app, uh, resources, layouts, and that's where your content main is. So you can just switch between these two. So let's get started. Um, first thing we need to do is we need to delete, delete this hello world. I don't want it. So I'm just gonna click on it and hit the delete key on your keyboard and that'll get rid that gets rid of it. Okay, cool. So now we see there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, and one of the ways is to use the text editor where you can like, manually type out all of this out. But one of the cool things about Android is, and at least for all layouts, you can switch between design mode and design, or between text mode and design mode. So if you wanna type out your text, you can do that here, and I usually do do that, and I will show some more advanced stuff in future videos. But for now, the design view is enough. So let's do a couple of things. Um, so go, so make sure, go ahead and open up content main, make sure you have that open up, delete the button, delete what's already there. Uh, and in this kind of palette here, you'll see lots of different things you can drag on to. So I'm gonna click plain text and you can search for it also, uh, but I won't do that now. So there's plain text, I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna just drag it somewhere onto the screen. You can drag it anywhere you want to. And if you notice, it kind of has guides and it kind of like uh, snaps to certain places. So I'm just gonna let go there. Now there are a couple of things we need to do. Let's go ahead and do, if you notice on the four, on the four sides of this box, you have um, these little circles with that kind of animate when you put your mouse over them. So let's do that. Let's start with the top one. Let's do the top and let's drag it up and make sure it kind of snaps to the top of the screen, then let go. So cool. Now let's do the same thing, thing to the left and the right. So I'm gonna click the circle icon and I'm gonna click and drag to the left and it'll snap there. And then I'm gonna do the right, same thing with the right, click and drag and drag until it's, there we go. Now you'll notice how this doesn't really take up all of the room, it just kind of centers itself there. We want this name to be all the way over to there and all the way over to there. Like right now, it's that's not exactly what we want. So I'm gonna select it and then over on the right, and you may have to click on the attributes here to open and close that up, but you wanna open it up and then you may have to use the arrows to switch between everything and just the most important important ones and you can kind of notice like with this selected you can click either on the left and right or the top and bottom and it will kind of change the mode that it's in so it kind of rotate between about between three of them you, you can kind of just click on them um, and you can see what it does like this is a fixed uh, there's wrap content we won't, we won't get into like what exactly this means but you just wait until it just click, keep clicking on it until it kind of expands kind of like that and so that's exactly what we want so cool um, let's see what, oh yeah, a button. So we have our button up here. So again, go to your palette, um, click, click on button and just click and drag it over to your content main. And I'm just gonna put it in the center there. Let's do the same thing. Let's click and drag and we'll click and drag from the top and we'll go to the bottom of, we'll go to the bottom of the name of 
of the where we're gonna type our name out. Uh, then this with this, I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it all the way over to the left. Now, if you want, you can make the button super huge and drag it all the way over to the right, but you don't have to. Uh, that'll center it. Oh yeah, but then again, with it selected, you could kind of cycle through some of the different modes. So if you want to make it fixed or wrap content, or you want to make it huge like that, you can do that. Um, for now, I'll just make it huge, but usually you'd get whatever you get. You get the design from your designer, and you just do exactly what they want you to do. But uh, for this this case, it'll work. Why not make it big? And also, if you want to undo the uh, constraint, you can just click on it, and it will get rid of it. So it's small, whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, now, now let's go back to our all, let's go back to our palette and let's actually let's go ahead and run this. So I'm going to go up to the button here and I'm going to run it and I have an emulator that's already open. So in a previous video I kind of explained how to go ahead and set up an emulator. But if you need help leave a comment in the leave a comment in the YouTube video or you can just Google uh, something like Android Studio how to set up virtual device. Or if you have a physical device you can just set up your physical device, plug it in with USB or whatever and um, uh, yeah, so you, you can do it a number of ways, but I'm going to go ahead and click OK here, and this will open up the emulator with uh, the pixel that I already have created. And here it is. Okay, cool. Now you'll notice that the colors aren't, aren't exactly what we want, but also it has name there. So how do we get rid of that? Um, what we can do is we can go back and, because yeah, we don't want our name to be there. We want it to give it a little hint, but see, when I click on it, the name's still there. So I'm so like to, for somebody to enter their name, they would have to delete all of this and then type in Daniel. Like it's not gonna just uh, automatically disappear when you do that. And I can show you how to do that, but let's uh, let's not do that quite yet. Okay, now one last thing. So text view. So I'm gonna click and drag a text view onto here, and I'm just gonna like drag it somewhere near the bottom, um, kind of in the middle. But now now let's use the constraint. So I'm gonna on the left side of the little circle there, I'm going to click and drag over to the left side, and I'm going to wait till it snaps, then let go. And then the same thing with the top, I'm going to click and drag to the bottom of the button, and as soon as I do that, it kind of pulls itself up there, and it says, um, and, it, and it just snaps to the button. So now there are a couple of things. Um, to the right, again, you may have to open up attributes, and you may have to use the arrows to go back and forth, but let's go ahead and change uh, the text here is where it says text view text. Let's change it to type your name above. Enter, and there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and run that, and I'm going to go back to my emulator, and uh, that's the that's the old that's the old app. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that so it doesn't get confusing. But this is the new one that we're just working on right now. Um, so yeah, it says type your name above, but we still have the name there. We need to fix that. Let's do that. So with your mouse and content main, go ahead and select the name. Uh, then there should be, if it's not here, you can search for, oh yeah, hint. So what we're looking for is hint right there. I gotta admit, I usually just do it in the text view. That's what I, I use the text view all day long. I'm pretty good with it, but then again, I've always done, I've always done, you know, I've done X, I've done HTML for 13 years, so it just makes sense to me. But uh, I'll, I'll get into more uh, constraint, constraint layout stuff later. But just for now, um, go ahead and select the name. And then over to the right side, if you open up attributes, then you can search for, where was it, hint, and type in, yeah, hint. So we'll call this, um, let's call this name. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there, and but you also notice that we still have the text view text down here. So we want to get rid of the text that's in there and only use a hint. A hint will disappear once you start typing something. So what does that mean? I'm going to go ahead and click enter there. I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to go back up to here and click run. And then I'm going to go back to uh, I'm going to go back to the emulator and see the, how the name is there. But once I start typing something, so say I put D, it goes away. So very cool. So and then if I erase it, it'll appear again. So like if you're creating an app that will get a list of users or you want people to put in their first name and their last name and their email address, you can use hints. That's a good use for them because they go away once you type. So you, so you can say something like uh, select the top there and this can be your first name. For the hint, we can put uh, first name. Uh, then we can go ahead and run that. And then if you need to collect data, you can just, you know, now it says first name. So Mel or Rachel or 
you can just type it. And so as soon as you start typing something, it goes away, which is kind of cool. Okay, so um, we have our button, we have our name. Um, if I go back to the emulator, we can type out our name and click the button and it doesn't do anything right now. So this is where Kotlin comes into play. So for right now, we're basically done with all of this. What we need to focus on right now is the main activity.kt. It's the Kotlin file. Now the default main activity Kotlin file includes a lot of stuff that we do not need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna just get rid of all of that code. We don't need it. And I'm gonna click over here and just get rid of all that code because we don't need it. So your layout should look like this and maybe this might be open there. You can close it with that. It's not important. We're not gonna be using that. What's important to know is that whenever, as soon as this screen opens up, um, it'll execute, Android will execute everything inside of OnCrate basically. Well, it's much more complicated than that. But for now, this is generally where you wanna put your stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna create some space there and I'm gonna write some Kotlin code. Um, so what do we wanna do? So we want somebody to be able to enter their first name here, click a button, and then it says hi, and then whatever your name is. How are you doing today? Or something kinda of like that. So how can we do that? So first we need to get, uh, we need to do a couple of things. First, we need to get some of our actions figured out. So I'm gonna click on the button and make it selected here and just in the layout here. And we need to give it an ID. So we're gonna call this ID, well, let's call it um, button press. That's a bad name. And I'm gonna go ahead and click yes here. Um, so button press. Um, so there we are, so yeah, so we select the button and give it an idea of button press. Now if we go back to our Kotlin class, start typing but, and you can see it automatically selects it for us. So I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put a dot, uh, then set on click listener. And you can see it automatically kind of prompts you for it, you can just hit enter. Um, but there's also something else you can do. You can do this with uh, curly braces. Okay, cool. So this isn't exactly gonna do anything, but I can show you something. So let's do D Daniel um, button was press. So what exactly does this do? I'll get into all that in just a second, but um, right now you can go ahead and just type out D and then type your name inside of quotes and then type some message inside of quotes and then end it, and then end it with uh, the closing parentheses. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up Logcat at the bottom here, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it. So let's see what happens here. Um, so this should take a second, and it opens up, and there we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button, and if you'll notice down here on the Logcat, under, uh, under Logcat right there, it says button pressed. So that's exactly what we typed up here in Kotlin. So this is sort of working. So every time I hit that button, it creates a new button was pressed down here in the log cat. So I can press this tons of times. And the more I press it, the more it shows up. And you have some other things also that are showing up. You can also filter out with, um, you just start typing something there and it'll filter all of this log cat with something. So uh, I can just keep pressing the button all day long and it'll add lots of them to this list. So now we get to scroll a little bit through this. Okay, not exactly what we want, but let's go ahead and do this. So uh, let me just, Go back to here. So when somebody hits the button, I want to get whatever is typed out up here. Okay, cool. Well, we need the ID for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit text there on the name, and the ID is called edit text. So let's name that to first name. I'm going to hit enter, and if this pops up, I'm going to hit yes. And there we are. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually I'll leave the log cat open. I'm going to get rid of that though. Um, and let's go back to the emulator and oh, actually we need to run this. I'll, I'll go back, I'll, I'll know what we need to do. We need to go to the Kotlin file. So with this, um, we gave it an idea of first name. Let's go to the main Kotlin uh, activity and let's do, um, I'll do plus of then first name dot text. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it and I'm gonna run it. And let's just see what happens. So give this a second, it'll open up in the emulator. And so on ABK, uh, let's type in uh, Mel, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button. Let's see if that works. And yeah, it did, see right there? Button was pressed, Mel. Okay, so now we have, um, we have it written out where if you type something, it'll be displayed down in the log cat over here. 
But what we, what we really want to do is we want to update the name right there. We want to say, hey, welcome, Daniel, or whatever. So we need to get one more ID. So I'm going to select this text right here, and the ID is called text view. And let's call this uh, welcome message. I'm going to hit enter. And I think we're good, actually. So let's go back to mainactivity.kotlin, and let's do this. Let's do, uh, what do we call it? Welcome message. Okay, welcome and start typing it and it automatically prompts for you to hit enter. So just when it prompts you with welcome message, just hit enter and it'll fill out the rest for you. Let's do dot text equals, and then in quotes, let's do this, welcome, and then a dollar sign, and then first. Okay, so this might be a little bit complicated. I'll go over it in just a second, but I wanna just show a point that I think think this will act, wait, welcome, yeah, this should actually work. So let's go back to our emulator and let's see if this works or not. So let's type out um, Daniel, oops, I got that wrong. I'm gonna hit the button and it says, welcome Daniel, okay, cool. So what it's doing is it's saying, hey, so look for the button press, and again, the button press is that right there, the ID right there, and we say, hey, whenever there's a click, I wanna do this right here, which I wanna do, I want to do that right there, which makes it go to the log cat, but I also want to set our welcome message as text to welcome, and then whatever the name is. So we're not manually typing Daniel there. We're saying, hey, look for the first name, and what's the first name? If you select this and look for the ID of first name, there's your first name. That, this can be anything. This can be ASDF. Enter, hit yes, and if I go back to here, um, this got changed to ASDF, ASDF. So literally, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because we don't want that anymore. But literally, you can name this, you can name that anything you wanna name it. So ASDF or first name or whatever, you just need to reference it this way. And um, so this is, hopefully this made a little bit of sense. If you got stuck with anything, leave a, leave a comment in the YouTube video or send, or yeah, leave a, just leave a comment below if you have trouble with anything. But basically we're saying, hey, whenever you press a button, Whenever or whenever you click on that, the welcome message is text should be welcome. And you can customize this too. So you can put an exclamation point. Um, how are you doing? And then we can do it again. Um, dollar sign ASDF dot text. And it'll automatically format it for you, which uh, for proper Kotlin. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And you can see second. That, okay, let's type out Mel now, hit the button, and it says, Welcome, Mel. How are you doing, Mel? I guess there should be a question mark there, maybe. Okay. Um, but see, we're getting some errors, and these aren't too important right now. But uh, we'll, f we'll, we'll, work, we'll work more with it later. But for now, this is good enough. So hopefully you learned something, and if you, have, if you had any problems, just leave a comment below, and I'll get to it. Thanks.